Dozens of bullets fired on the 4th of July in West Philadelphia. The gunfire killed two people. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payut spoke with a resident who says one of the victims was a local business owner and her close friend. All I hear like firecrackers over here. This ain't right. As fireworks shot through the city, people in West Philadelphia say the sound of rapid gunfire overpowered any celebratory noise. I was in my bed. I hear like eight shots fire. Then I hear another eight. So I run up. Then cops say, go back in the house. Police was already on the block. The shooting happened on South 60th Street just before 11 o'clock Sunday night. Hours later, you can still see remains from the shooting on vehicles that were heavily damaged. We have 78 shell casings on the street in, re in reference to the shooting, which is very troubling, very troubling. Deputy Commissioner Robin Wimberly says three people were shot, two of them died. A neighbor and close friend identified one of the victims as 23-year-old Sakar, the owner of this small business, Premier Band. Sakar was a leader. He was a sweetheart. Um, he had just had a baby, a business owner on a block. Um, he was well respected. A woman who did not want to show her face says less than 24 hours ago, friends and relatives of Sakar were celebrating the business's one year anniversary. Today, they're cleaning up after the bloodshed. I was praying it wasn't him. He's definitely going to be missed. And I'm praying for his family. His um, girlfriend and their their child. A 21-year-old was also killed in the shooting, and a 17-year-old driving by was shot in her backside. The motive behind the shooting is still unknown. In West Philadelphia, Jasmine Payute, CBS3 Eyewitness News.